This movie will show you how to create a new database in your cPanel. First of all, when you log into your cPanel, make sure you use HTTPS. The S stands for secure. And then your first name and your last initial. And then .t for Tom, .southcentral, .edu, and then colon 2083. That'll open up a specific port on the secure server. And you should get a page that looks similar to this. If you scroll down, you'll see the database, database section. And you can click on either the MySQL databases or the database wizard, which gives you the same information, but just a step at a time. They also have a, a nice video tutorial to show you how to use this. It'll be similar to what I'm showing you here. And we'll create a new database. So we're going to call it Career. And we use Go Back button, take us back. And you'll see that our databases have your username in the front, Peter JT. Yours won't have the T in it. Uh, underscore Career. And you can either check or repair the database. Now you need to set up a user for this. So for the username, this is not your username to the cPanel. This will be the username for the database. And we'll call it imdata. And the password is going to be yes, you are. And that's y e s u and the letter R. And then we'll create the user. And the last step is to make sure that the user Peter J T I M data goes with this database. And then you want to select all privileges. Now write these things down because you're going to need to use them in, when you get into programming. Your database is Peter JT underscore career, or it'll be with your your uh, prefix. Now, in order to use your new database, you'll have to add a table. And I've exported uh, an existing table already with data in it that will save you time. So again, starting at your cPanel, scroll down to your database, and then select PHP My Admin. And you'll see over on the left-hand side where your career database has already been created. So click on that. Your prefix will be different, of course. And then instead of creating a new table from scratch, you can do an import, browse to where your table is, and the table that you that you downloaded was probably page data, which is the name of the table, dot SQL. This is the SQL uh, format. If you want to see what that looks like, you can look at page data structure PDF. And you can see that our page data table is basically going to be all text. And we're going to have a page section, header section, several miscellaneous fields, and an item. And we'll look at that data in just a minute. But for now, we'll just select that text file, click on Go. And you can see that we've imported eight, eight records. So if we look at the structure of our page data, and you can see here's our the page. We're either going to have an activity page or a career page. We'll be focusing on the career page. Here's the header, 
that will be on the top of each article and the different fields. Again, you'll see this more as we get into the program.